Greetings, Keishlings. Keish Prime here with my live reaction of One Piece, Chapter 976. And I think I got spoiled. Freaking can't avoid a dang thing. Um, uh, while I don't know the full circumstances of how it comes about, so that'll still be fresh and everything, but I know that Jimbe arrives. I'm happy about it. But I'm sad about the circumstances of why I know about it. Anyway, uh, moving on from that, uh, obviously I'll have my other live reactions for today and everything. And sorry, this is a little later than usual. I'm working on a theory video that will come out tomorrow. So, yeah. Anyway, um, okay, nice color spread here. We got all the straw hats minus djembe with the tone tatas. Making shoes. Okay, so they're the... The shoe elves, or shoe gnomes, or whatever, basically. Okay, that works. It's like an old folklore, like an old cobbler. He, you know, like he was trying to make shoes, but like he couldn't make them in a, a quick enough fashion. And then he got some help from either the shoe gnomes or elves, and they would come in at night and make the shoes. He would be like, where the hell are these shoes coming from? And one night he catches them and... I don't know the rest of the story. In some cases, he enslaves them, I imagine. In other cases, he befriends them. I don't know. But that's kind of what I've heard and seen of in popular media. But anyway, nice colors all around some of these characters we have not seen in a minute. Um, but anyway, also, Luffy made some shoes that are the Merry and Sunny and I like that. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, let's see here. Um, trying to get the... There we go. Uh, let's see here. Just be honest with us, Kenimon. They freaking double-decked him in the face. They know he did not plan any of that. That was just coincidence and everything. He is a lucky fox. <laughs> just be honest with us, Kenimon. <laughs> uh, uh, Inarashi saying, uh, It's all well that ends well. We won't be mad so fess up, says Kuamatsu. Well, he, they're thinking this because they don't want anyone to be aware that all of this was just sheer luck. I think the straw hats are rubbing off on the samurai. Um, stop it. Stop right now. Admit it. Admit it. You thought it was Tokage Port. <laughs> Oh, the chapter is begging your pardon. Or down here in the south, beg your pardon. Um, perhaps I will die in the battle ahead. It feels as though I've just ended up an entirely, or I used up an entire lifetime's worth of good luck. He's not kidding about being lucky. <laughs> oh, Sir Kenimon, that's our leader. The people are unaware as hell. Oh, Lord. Also, you can't even, like, see where their boat is. Weird. But you can, like, see, um, the thought bubble. Hmm. Anyway. If anything, we've been channeling our good luck for having you as a comrade in arms. I mean, yeah. Oh, wait, the boat is up on... I forgot that it was on Lost Ship. My bad. It's been a long two weeks, guys. Um, but, yeah. Moving on. You're right, Master Ken. We won't let you die alone. But <laughs> won't let you die alone. Oh God, it's like we won't let you die, or we're here with you. Anything to you know, not be straight up. You're not gonna die alone in this horrible endeavor, you know. But anyway, we served the Lord Odin together. We might have out of, or we might have been born and raised apart. It's cold comfort coming from a band of stinking men. I mean, yeah. <laughs> but it's still heartwarming, you know. It's cold comfort on the outside, but it's good on the inside, you know. Is that you got these brothers in arms that will go to the gates of hell with you. And most likely die. Hopefully not, but if it happens, it happens and they're happy to be with you. Anyway, raise your katana kin. We've won the opening battle. Yes, the sea battle, which is interesting. That we don't really ever get to see sea battles in One Piece, you know? 
We, we actually got like our first major sea battle in Kingdom for the first time ever. And that's just as odd. I mean, I guess it's more land-based battles than that series, but it's up there for like, how has this not happened before? Um, but anyway, let us avenge Lord Odin together. Yeah, Sir Kinemon. So they're all raising their swords with Kinemon. Or at least, yeah, some of them on the ships. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, I'm saying it's harder because it, they're so tiny in comparison. So yeah, you got the scabbards in their boat and everything. Let's see here. Uh, wait, what? Oh, that was, that, okay. I, I get now that that was a double spread, kind of? Not really? No. No, it wasn't. It's hard to tell because, like, part of it, the way that they cut the pages, like, it's ridiculous. And I can't ever, there we go. I swear, get, trying to get that setting back. Uh, prepare the cannons. There are many more. Are there so many? Who cares? We're in battleships and all they have are fairies. It's like, dude, you guys are all doomed if they sink your ships. Oh, yeah, and I forgot that Conjuro still has Momo. Yeah. Time to report. I've completed my role. There's only one thing to do now. And, oh, Kawamatsu coming to save Momo. Have you contacted Onigashima? I'm trying, but they're probably so busy with the feast they're not noticing. I mean, you should have at least one guy on the phone. Um, Kwamatsu's glub glub, or glub blub. Oh, he's freaking drawing a crane. Oh, but, oh, Kawa coming out the water. He gonna wring your neck. It's like, I failed to help M Lady uh, Hiori, but I will not fail Master Momo! <laughs> uh. Okay, so they're clashing. Brush versus sword. Kawamatsu! You shall not have Lord... Er, you shall not have Lord Momonosuke. Oh, but I will, Fishman. Okay. <laughs> Why don't you call him Kappa Man? Uh, but anyway, let's see. Uh, Kozuki is finished. And the crane is starting to come off the ground. Kuamatsu! Uh, Lord Momonosuke! Oh, the feathers are coming off for some reason. Oh, okay, they're flying up in the air. Okay, that explains it. Ah, that is a very nice crane. I, I mean, he drove with, like, his left hand up until a couple chapters ago. So, like, in, yeah, I've tried to draw with my own left hand. It's not good results, so I can definitely see why... But he's actually was decent even with the left hand, to be honest. Oh, Lord. Next, I will find Hiori and kill her. Oh, God, Kawamatsu is probably just boiling with anger right now. Now that I know she's alive. Yep, he's boiling with anger in that panel. You knave! I see how uh, smoothly that bird you've painted flies. But you never showed us anything. But ugly monstrosities that washed away in water. I mean, it makes no sense how they washed away in water. Given that, like, his clone and everything, and it's raining, like, the wings of the crane are not, like, having holes burned through them by the water droplets. But, like, so how does he do that? I mean, I guess he has complete control over them, so he's, like, slowly dissolve right now and then he always made it conveniently it was like water so you know but anyway <clears throat> farewell you fools it's too high i'm scared either way you will never triumph over master kaido's forces let me down you'll never even set foot on the island ka 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 you bastard i really liked him i hate that he became the villain or a villain. Supplementary villain. Anyway. Let me down. I'm scared. Someone help. Oh. So Luffy's now realizing. Conjuro. Mama. Where are you going? Where do you think Luffy? <laughs> it's like. Where have you been? Okay. And we've got. Um, 
That's one of the Ringo, um, what's his name? What, what are, um, Yakuza bosses, right? Because I remember the, like, the weird sevens in his hair. Um, or maybe it's not. I can't remember, but I do remember this guy. Um, ah, he's got Lord Momonosuke. Give back, or give our Lord back. Ra <laughs> says in the background. So I'm guessing that Kanjuro turned out to be a mull, Robin. Okay, so what Sanji, he's sky stepping. Well, I, sky walking, same different. Um, up into the air, so he, I guess he's going to go save Momo. So give him something good to do. That seems to be the case. We need to help. Oh, but she's out. I fucking <laughs> She's doing her little gesture, so she's going to do something as well. <clears throat> Luffy, Conjuro's an enemy spy. He's capturing Momo, says Chopper with a... Do something, Captain! <laughs> what? He's just now figuring it out. God damn it, Luffy. Uh, time to escape into the clouds. Really? This whole time? What a jerk. Okay, so even Usopp is like, I'm just going to snipe his ass, you know? I'll shoot him out of the sky. Okay, so we've got potentially Robin, Sanji, Usopp, and maybe Luffy if he decides to literally lend a hand and stretch his arm. You know, so we've got three to four Straw Hats potentially chasing down Conjuro. I think it's good. Why is that cloud black? Um, hmm? What's that cloud? Oh, God, don't tell me it's Big Mom. And she made a new Zeus. Did I wonder if she's made one. You know, come to think of it. Because, like, she would... I don't know if she would want to replace Zeus, but she would make at least a replacement... Maybe not with her own soul, but, like, with somebody else's for the time being. Then maybe, you know, Nami could have it after the end of the arc or whatever if they, if she gets Zeus back, you know? But anyway, um, name it Nimbus. Anyway, what's that cloud? Turn back, Sir Sanji. I have a bad feeling about this. Well, I had a bad feeling as soon as I spotted it. Oh. Oh. It's an ink cloud. Ink clouds. Also, he's doing with his hair. So he's like the... Wait. Why is it that it seems like Kabuki characters? I forget his name, but he was part of... Uh, um, CP0... Or CP9, my bad. Um, and he was like the Kabuki guy. And he could like control his hair with like the biofeedback energy. I forget the names. It's been a long time, guys. Um, so is it because of that? Or is it because of like a combination with his ink powers? I really just want to know what his devil fruit is. Is it the ink ink? No me. Is it the painting? No me. Is it, you know, something. <clears throat> anyway. Whatever he's doing, it's something we haven't seen before. Well, obviously. Rain down, ink arrows. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay, well, some guys are on the ship and are like, what the hell is that? And because I guess they didn't hear that he's raining down on them. And it, they can destroy wooden crates. That's uh, pretty powerful, actually. Oh, God, that guy got it in the back. Um... Ukiyo portrait, evening shower, and he's just raining, he's made a big enough cloud to rain down on the whole fleet. Good lord! He kind of OP in a way. Hard a port! Okay, let's see here. Stop this Kanjuro. They're all going to die. Yes, that's right. They're finally going to die. That face. <laughs> also, Sanji's like blocking Nami from. The... I mean, it makes sense, dude. Put on your raid suit. You'll you can use your cape and just like take the cape off and give it to her. You know, uh, your father Odin and mother Toki delayed their deaths by twenty years, dangling pointless hope before them. 
delayed their deaths. Huh. Okay. Considering Toki we know is alive. Right? She fled the castle and everything and probably warped to the future at some point. But then we saw Odin die. He died in oil with a smile on his face. So he Odin D Kozuki, but you know. But, uh, hmm. Anyway, but so that makes no sense. I mean, unless, like, their legacy is living on with Momo and Hiori, I guess. I don't know, but anyway. Uh, but the general, all those brave and hardy samurai follow, is just a wailing child without conviction, cowering from heights. Kukaka, what a joke. I know most of all that I am not Kozuki Odin. I know it better than anyone. Okay, so Momo about to frickin' do something to him. Can you all hear me, Lord Momonosuke? Do not fret about me. That is what the enemy wants you to do. Okay. So he, he's, he's having a courage up moment, is he? I will find a way to escape on my own. I don't know how. I can't do it. <laughs> Destroy Kaido and Orochi and protect Wano. No one will rescue me this way, but... Oh, he's basically becoming a sacrificial lamb. Oh, I, I do hope he escapes on his own. That that would make this moment even better. Um, oh, and everyone's crying. Ah, oh, the poor brave boy. Such a divine courage. Lord Momonosuke. By Momo's standards, he's being a real man, says Luffy. <laughs> it's like, ha, ah, his balls finally dropped. Good on you, Momo. But don't worry, we're going to come help you. That's right, Momo. For such a cowardly, dumb little brat, you're just a kid with a top knot who's all talk. Don't say this, Luffy! Oh, God, what little courage he might have had is now just totally been wiped away and everyone's going to be pissed at you. Who is that? Cut him in two! <laughs> Find a way to survive. We'll go and rescue you. Okay, I'm not sure who said that. Probably Luffy. Because we're pals. Okay, it was definitely Luffy then. Oh, Momo with the... It's gross, but it's endearing that he's crying. He's like, I'm waiting. Anyway, so he's just riding on the back of the crane now. With a nod, nod, nod. What, what, okay, oh, okay, he's bowing. Gotcha, gotcha. He's still bowing and nodding as he flies away and we're getting closer to Onigashima. Let's go to Onigashima. You got it. Okay, so, uh, god dang, Frankie's now decked out in armor. I don't think he was that way before in the last chapters. So, um, one of the ships is escaping. They're all going the same direction, huh? Wasn't there another one? We already sank it. Are you all well? We have a few damaged ships and casualties. Let's hurry and land on the island. Nothing could be worse than to die at sea. I mean, yeah. I mean, this is essentially what everyone's been waiting for for 20 years. So, it's like, to not even make it to Onigashima, where the final battle would happen, is, uh... Hmm. Hmm. This cough drop's starting to cut my jaw. Um would would be just the biggest dishonor to them all so i'm so sorry for this master ken i failed you oh shinobu you you did good you you had no idea mm, really getting into my jaw there um or into my cheek anyway the important thing is that you're well they will not take Mo lord momonosuke's life what happened to your face <laughs> Ryzo's first thing to um to a uh, crap why can't I I've known him for freaking his Dinjira um I've known him as I can't even remember his other name why <laughs> why couldn't you just call himself Din Cho or something you know but whatever anyway so Dinjiro here um 
he was like, what happened to your face, man? And it's like, <laughs> 20 years, you know, uh, 20 years of anger and everything. It, it, it does a body bad. Um, uh, plenty, let's hurry. It's good to see you. <laughs> okay, so that, that's, he <laughs> didn't even answer the question. Um, hey, this isn't your samurai garrison. We appreciate, or we appreciate your help. We're not helping you. Get off. Okay, so Law's like, okay, we came up out of the ocean. You just happened to be there, but get out. <laughs> Don't let the Straw Hats get the jump on us. Okay, so Kid is motivating his crew to, you know, it's like, we're going. Yes, sir. What the hell is that? Oh, shit. Cannon explosive cannonballs are hitting the the samurai ships now huh it came from one of the fleeing ships a long distance cannon they were just measuring the distance from that far away so it's like yeah this is really far away okay um oh shit those are like full-on like I don't know what they are in like normal terms but like they're they're high velocity. <laughs> um, is that even... No, that's not even... Whatever. Anyway, moving on. These are like modern day cannons. Um, yeah, the weapons of Wano are high precision. And thanks to the weapon factories, we've got a whole array of, at our disposal. Ah, uh, you pricks. Um, let's see you try to fly at us again, suckers. Fly at you. No one's been flying, but okay. Pull back. More distance. Okay, so they're definitely trying to stay a safer... Ooh. Also, that was one of the uh, Yakuza bosses who kind of looks like a rabbit. Weird. Um, I think that was a Yakuza. I'm pretty sure. I know I've seen him before. Um, but yeah, that another ship has been taken out. This is, this is bad, folks. Um, damn it, I thought it was fishy that they ran out so willingly. Full speed ahead. We gotta get closer. Sink all the samurai boats you want. See if I care. Okay, so Law, Luffy, and then Kid. Just like... Law's thinking about it logically. Luffy's just like, get within their range, basically. And Kid doesn't give a shit. So, hmm. Very much like them. Uh, okay, so... Oh, crap. More s boats are sinking. Shit. If they manage to maintain this distance, we'll all be sunk. Ha ha, or da ha ha, Th this battle's already over, we're untouchable back here. Huh? Spear wave, and here comes Jinbear! With a new technique, because he has never used that before, unless that's the translation in Viz for some reason. Anyway, so, uh, so this is how he spears that boat right through with a water blade. Uh, there's a huge hole in the ship. A long distance cannons. Something's happening over there. Maybe they're being killed by the vengeful spirit of a baby who died at sea. <laughs> what? Um, at this point, that sounds cuddly. What's going on? Okay, so the ship has finally sunk. Is someone out there? Well, met good people. Uh, he's on the boat. He's on the sinking vessel. Um, begging your pardon. <laughs> oh, Jinbei, you, you salty, literal salty sea dog. Um, I hail from the fishman district of Ryu, uh, Ryugyu Kingdom of, on the bottom of the sea. Oh, he's being so cordial as if like they first met. It's like, may I join your crew? <laughs> kind of deal is what it feels like. I am but a humble newcomer to this group, having imposed upon folks left and right despite receiving a ritual cup. From the boss of the Straw Hat crew, they call me Jinbei, first son of the sea. Oh, he's even doing like a kabuki dance, I think. Are you kidding? For the sake of a long and fruitful relationship, he's joining the Straw Hats. <laughs> so freaking Law and Kid are just like, bewildered it's like they're going to have that monster join their crew god damn it um 
I will be pleased to make your acquaintance. And Luffy in that last little panel just so happy. Wahaha, sorry for forcing you to wait like that, but I've come back alive just as I promised, Luffy. Okay, did he lose a leg or something? People have been saying that for a long time. Okay, I like his new design. He has both legs! He has both arms! He seems to be perfectly fine, other than a bit of a different outfit. Might be the same one, different colors, I don't know. It's been a while since we saw <laughs> Um, But anyway, Straw Hat Crew Helmsman. Okay, that is perfect position for him. We saw his skills in uh, Totland, so yeah. Jimbei, first son of the sea. Bounty, 438 million, Barry. I'm glad I made it in time for the battle. <laughs> Jimbei! <laughs> says Luffy. Jimbei! So Carrot and Nami are hugging. Oh, everyone's cheering. Boss! Oh, that that was a great ending. That that was great. Even though I was spoiled, it it's still it's still great. Um I mean basically pretty straightforward everything. They're still going to Onigashima. Um Kanjiro being even more of an ass by starting to take out the fleet the way he did. You know, some injuries, some... I, one ship, I think, was sunk at that point. But then you had, you know, the Beast Pirates as they fled. They took out more ships. So I'm wondering how many people we actually have left because we had, what, what was it? It was over 5,000. But that's likely gone down considerably possibly by the hundreds because of how many people they were cramming on those boats by Dinjira. so i'm wondering what the final tally is for forces that will be for this battle um so that that's problematic but we got big hit in jimbe right now so yeah I think we might equal out. Um, I don't know how much equaling out, but I think it'll help regardless. So, yeah. Also, some funny moments in the background, you know, with, like, Rizo's question to Dinjiro. Never got answered. More on Conjuro. That was cool. Um, you know, with how he can use his powers to literally make anything. But I didn't think he could rain stuff from a cloud that he drew. So that that's cool. Um, Momo's brave moment, the, um, let's see, what, what, what moment was it? I pointed it out, I think, but whatever. Th there were some funny moments there. The, the whole start of it with Kenimon getting punched in the face because they're like, you idiot, you just locked out, didn't you? And then it was like, nope, all part of the plan. Uh, but anyway. But they're like, whatever, just don't tell anybody. So that was great. But uh, yeah, anyway, um, I think I basically had all my thoughts during the reaction and everything. Happy that Jim Bay is here. That was the biggest thing. Like I said, sad I got spoiled. But I, I don't think it lessened anything because that was a great entrance for him. And plus the whole, like, I'm just a humble traveler coming to make your acquaintance. Because I was once met with a cup of, uh, like a ritual cup by a man named Luffy. You know, so, to join his crew. You know, so... That, that was all great. I loved it. It was a good introduction with Jembe. Happy that he's now the helmsman and everything. So, yeah. Anyway, check out, uh, or, well, before that, um, let me know your thoughts and opinions on the chapter. Anything I missed, misunderstood, please let me know down below. Um, check out all my other content. Uh, see what you like. Suggest things for the future. Uh, follow all my social media so you're always in the loop for all my content. I stream on Twitch. I'm playing Final Fantasy VII right now, the original, and uh, I'll tweet it out when I go live. Uh, part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel, and uh, so check that out, obviously. And as always, thank you for watching, like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, Keishlings, Jimmy!